Check one, two. Check, check one, two. Hey guys, I'm Nero Forte, and welcome to Check One Two, where we check out a game and kind of see how uh, we like it. Um, as always, if you want to see more of the game that I do on Check One Two, then I will definitely do more. Just let me know down in the comments down below, and any likes uh, and subscribes would be much appreciated. T uh, today we've got Mini Metro. Uh, it's a game that's still in beta, um, and it's it's pretty interesting. It doesn't have things like music. Um, which, um, it, I guess could be a little bit, uh, irritating to some, but it really, I, I think that with how simple this game is, I think I've spent something around three or so hours, um, on it, and it's just, it's just kind of like one of those games that if you want your, uh, if, if you're a fan of puzzle games and you feel like, you know, you can, you can handle multitasking, then, uh, then, then this is this is a game for you. So we're just going to jump right in. Um, so there's Commuter, Scenic, and Rush Hour. Um, I've played Commuter, uh, which is basically just see how long you can continue to keep your subway alive. Uh, Scenic, I haven't played yet. And Rush Hour, I know, is where you basically have where. Uh, no no subways could get overcrowded and it's just basically see how long you can uh, or see how efficient you can make your 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 subway so we're gonna do commuter and I've already done London and Paris um, and, and New York as well so let's try a good old Hong Kong uh, if you guys want to see New York and Paris and London let me know down in the comments down below and I will definitely play them all right so as you see no loading screen no nothing and here is literally the game we got to connect this subway so now we have this green subway line going across and as you see uh, we get v uh, visitors in each one and kind of depending on their shape depends on where they want to go um, and you can drag and create a new, uh, create a new subway or expand your subway that you're currently on. Uh, this actually expands rather quickly, um, and and soon I'll have to put a, a second subway down, um, just so that way this one doesn't get uh, overworked. Um, so here we here we go right here at the bottom. We have uh, two trains. I could put another train on here. I actually put two trains on here. Um, and then we also have a red line and a blue line. Um, I'm gonna create a second train and I'm gonna have this one just go straight from here to here um, and basically all this train's gonna do is go back and forth back and forth and that should keep the strain off of this green track uh, off of these uh, the circle and the triangle. Now for up here I think what I should do is I should bring it to to there and then I'll bring this around to you know what actually we'll bring it around to the square because the red line isn't connected to a square anywhere and just in case um, this the red line gets overworked uh, we could always go ahead and uh, whoops nope don't want to do that I want to take you and bring you over so a as you can see it it, it, it kind of just slowly builds we can set it in fast forward watch it um, populate real fast and all right so there we go week two you've received a new locomotive so I got one more locomotive so now I have two and then I have a choice week two I have a carriage which makes my locomotive carry uh, six more people or tunnels and since we have zero tunnels uh, I'm gonna go with tunnels uh, because tunnels is basically uh, this right here um, and that that allows us to go over uh, underwater so we'll set it real quick and fast forward so that way we can get the uh, the the nice speed up. We'll actually bring this to now it's a full circle and then we'll do uh, we'll have this come down here come across and uh, as you see right there we can't go over the uh, the the Brit or the water or under the water because we don't have any more tunnels. Um, so we'll bring this over here. Whoops, bring this over here. And uh, 
and I don't know if you guys uh, noticed it, but slowly the map is zooming out and our and our area of where subways can be placed are is uh, is gaining. So as as you see right here, this circle place is is gaining a couple of uh, uh, people, and it's getting getting quite interesting. And as you see, we also have now new shapes coming in. We don't just have triangles, squares, and circles. We also have uh, these diamond shapes. So we got a new locomotive, and we have a carriage or a line. And uh, I don't think we need a line yet, so I'm gonna go for a carriage. I really wish we had some tunnels, but you know, alas, it, you know. I, can't ask for everything. Now this is an issue because we need to get there but we don't have any tunnels to do so. So what I can do is actually disconnect this uh, tunnel, I'll move this over, and then create... Oh, we don't have any... Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a problem. Um, hmm, let's see what we can do here. Let's create this, but we can't go back over. So we'll wait until we have another tunnel and then we'll go ahead and uh, and and see about uh, connecting it back over now see this one it changed I don't remember what it was before but now it's changed to a square um, and that one changed into a star uh, this one looks like it might get a little overpopulated so what we'll do is we'll actually put a carriage We'll put a carriage on you and see it took basically the entire load of people. Um, and on the red line, let's put another carriage. Okay, got a locomotive and a tunnel. All right, so now what we can do is we can actually pull it this way. And we're actually going to put another carriage uh, or another uh, locomotive on the uh, blue line. Now this green line is kind of small, so what we could do is see about expanding. Oh wow, that is extremely overpopulated. So as you see, it's starting to fill up. Um, so I'm going to actually slow down. Okay, so we've slowed down. Now they're starting to fill up. Uh, we have one more locomotive that we can actually work on here. So there you go. That, that takes care of that. There's some that get dropped off. So as you see, now it's not overpopulated, it slowly goes down. Uh, we'll bring this over here. There you go. This this guy's starting to get overpopulated. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have nothing. We have nothing to help this place here. And we have nothing to go ahead and stop them. Alright, so what we could do is... Well, yeah, that's what we should have done. Yeah, see, game over. So you overcrowded the station, was forced your metro to close. 320 passengers traveled on your metro over 24 days. Um, I can actually try uh, restarting it, or I could uh, end it off here. But you know what? I'm gonna actually. Uh, I'm actually. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna restart it. All right. So now we restart it again, let's try making that metro again, just make a, a simple uh, circle metro and uh, we'll actually speed up time so that way it's uh, a little bit a little bit better. Let's disconnect these real quick, grab, there you go. So now it's a, a, a better circle, we'll go, oh we can't go over the, uh, the bridge so we'll just grab it like that, there you go, because we're not destroying this met uh, this tunnel we're just redirecting it so what I think I'll do is I'll just keep expanding the one line um, until I go ahead and I'll, I'll get another line and it'll just all it'll do is just connect inside the giant circle oh wow it is overpopulated already so you know what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab a carriage we're gonna put a carriage on you uh, and see you should be somewhere around empty um, so then you should yeah just grab a whole bunch of people everyone actually um, which is which is fantastic so now let's actually go and I think we'll, we'll put a second line 
on and we'll actually we have one bridge so we could go from here we could go from the circle to the triangle but I think what we're gonna do um, hmm okay so what I'm thinking is let's connect that to there and let's see if something else opens up to make it a little bit easier also another thing to add is that you can't like go over another line you can't just cross over though there is a workaround you can go from here then to here um, which is which is real nice so we'll just actually go from here to here uh, I don't have any more tunnels right okay so that's what we'll do so they started getting overpopulated they were cut down this guy will drop off some here grab a circle and basically he should pick up uh, six people here because uh, both of these are right on his line so he shouldn't not pick up anyone really why why did you have to be there why you couldn't have opened up like right here on the shoreline like right here okay so week three we got a new locomotive and we can have a line or tunnels and we want a, a tunnel because we want to get this guy over here there you go and they're starting to get full again so what we'll do is we'll actually move oh don't want to don't want to dis, dis disconnect him see and he was already on this line so he actually skipped uh, that circle station which is not not very good so we'll actually send you over here to stop that so here we go this is actually another point in which I could show you guys that uh, you can put up to uh, three trains at once on uh, on one given line the only downside to that is basically you're then starving your other your other lines but as, as we see the red line isn't doing um, horribly at the moment so uh, well with the exception of this but this is shared with the green line the the, uh, the green line is basically the one that we see all the heavy traffic with. Let's see, what can we do here? We can move, we can either move him over or we can go and connect here to him. There you go. And then when we gain a, uh, see, on C, that's another thing that they do, which kind of bugs me. Um, so let's put this here uh, because I feel like we're, they weren't going to get there in time. But uh, see, we've already we've already got new shapes being added in, and no tunnels to do anything with them. So yippee ki yay! All right. So what we should be able to do is, do we have an extra line? We do. So we'll actually go ahead and no, because that won't really help us. Actually, it will. So we got a new locomotive and tunnels. So here's what we'll do is we'll actually put the red line to this. We'll grab one tunnel here and then this this guy will come come this way onto um actually what he'll do is come this way so that way he can come this way and down and down to there. Okay. Cool. So then we'll add the blue to these guys' lines. Ah, see, okay. See, it was crossing over for some reason, but for 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 some unknown reason, you really can't cross over lines too much. They're about to fill up again, and uh, okay. So as you can see, we're starting to get sort of um, overwhelmed here. We have zero trains, zero carriages, and zero tunnels. So all we can do is just expand the lines. See, blue line's starting to get overcrowded here because it's only one guy. Let's see, can we can we make it to uh to the new week with uh with with all of this mayhem going on? See, there's triangles and oh, the triangles all the way over there. Dang. Oh wow, okay. Oh he might be nope, he's not helping us at all. Okay. 
So we're here at Saturday. Come on, come on, come on. And there you go. We got a new locomotive and ooh, carriage or tunnels. Uh, I'm gonna say tunnels so we can connect here to here, and then we'll use this to reinforce the blue line. Uh, here we we'll actually put this on the blue. No, you know we'll put it on the red line. There you go. All right, they're starting to get uh, overpopulated. Uh, there you go. Ooh, yeah. See now, now it's just it's just constantly changing your metro. They're full again, and again we're empty. So I don't think I think each line is on a rotating, um, rotating like uh, I was almost gonna say frequency. I've been watching too much Star Trek. They're on a uh, uh, like a, a rotating schedule. Yeah, they're gonna fill up. Are we on fast forward? We better not be. Okay. Yeah. See, they're gonna they're gonna fill up. They're gonna fill up. They're gonna fill up. They're filling up. They're filling up. It is all falling apart right there. There you go. Oh. Okay. So you know, guys, this is this is mini metro. Um, we're actually I'm actually going to uh, um, stop it there. Uh, we actually have, uh, what's it called, a, uh, th this, this game is in, uh, beta, and it's, it's pretty cool. There's some other, uh, neat little features I'll show you real quick before it, uh, before I end off this video. Uh, here in options, you know, you can change all your kind of, you know, your language, your full screen, that kind of normal thing. But then there's this thing, which is pr pretty cool, night mode. So basically, um, just the same way your GPS would change uh, from daytime to nighttime mode. Um, if you're at night, you don't want this really, really bright screen. Uh, this really works, uh, and it's and it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, this is Mini Metro. Um, it's a game in beta again. Uh, really cool. Check it out. Um, it's only a couple bucks, and um, on Steam. And uh, yeah, as always guys, if you want to see more of this game, leave me a comment down below. Uh, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated to this video, um, if you like me and not just the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at the Forte underscore, for updates and what's happening, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.